<laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever yelled after nutting? Oh, mom. <laughs> I want to scream and shout and let it all out. Who whoa, wrote that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Guess what? Now, 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 Will I am at Britney. Bitch, ding, 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 ding. What's her name? Britney? Britney Spears? No, Fergie? you said Will I am? Fergie? Fergie. Uh, Will I am Bad. Is like, Will, Will I am is a guy. So what? <laughs> All right. Just making sure we're talking about the same person here. Yeah, Will I am and, uh, and, uh, and Fergie. Will I am, I am robot. Anyways, I also I am. am on tour ladies and gentlemen austin texas tonight and tomorrow i have two headlining shows a part of the moon tower comedy festival one at nine one at ten thirty pull up on my website and then i'm going to be in lexington kentucky september 30th through october 2nd lexington tickets are a move in all right and then plano we just added a sunday show so that's october 10th pull upwards all the other ones are sold the Ah. Then we got Virginia Beach, October 22nd through the 24th. New Brunswick, New Brunswick, New Jersey, New Jersey, not the old one. Uh, November, God, I'm dumb. November 4th through the 6th. <laughs> then we got Jacksonville, Florida, November 18th through 20. Denver, Colorado, weed, kush, put it in your mouth. 9, 11, oh, no, December 9th through 11. <laughs> Charlotte, North Carolina, <laughs> December 16th through the 18th. Nashville, January 6th through 9th. Sorry, I took up so much time. Mr. Blaustein. Stein. Ho! Oh, bars, bars, Mr. Blaustein's doing stand-up comedy, yelling about feet and how hot his mom is. When? I'll tell you. October 2nd, I will be in Portland, Oregon. November 2nd, I will be in Raleigh, North Carolina. November 3rd, I will be in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's where the Hornets play horny november 4th i'll be in nashville tennessee that's where they have sex with cousins just joking i'm just joking please come to the show november 5th through the 7th i'll be in atlanta georgia ludicrous will be hosting i'm just joking come out to the shows november 5th through the 7th and november 21st i'll be in san francisco california guys come out where do you get tickets blau comedy dot com and Trevor now Walsh comedy dot com that's where he get yeah that's Trevor where you, com. that's where you get your tickets yeah, yeah, yeah. splat splat i be sure it gabe do splat. it splat sip socks listeners <laughs> <laughs> i'm here someday love will find you you know the song someday love will find you i think that was just a fuck boy being like Hey, look, it's not working out. Someday love will find you. Just not right now in Van Nuys. You know, like I'm just not ready to commit. Did you ever say some fuck boy shit in your life? 100%. Oh, okay. 100%. I literally broke up with my high school girlfriend because yeah. of that. I was like, I'm going to college and like, you know, I don't want to hold you back. Like you're wondering what I'm be doing. And like, you know, I got a lot of books I got to read. And she's like, you don't know how to read in the first place. I'm like, that's a valid point. But baby girl, I can read your mind and you want to see other people. Nah, damn. She's like, no, I don't. <laughs> Oh, dude, I told you, yeah, my first girlfriend ever broke with me like that. How? I want to be single in college. Hey, well, you're wearing a quarterback's jersey oh, God. that dude, you, you are the worst banging with football players. I ever. hate football. You need to be so rich you can buy a football team. And then in the beginning of the season, I'm gonna kill them all. you go, I'm quarterback. And they go, what? Yeah. I own the place. I'm quarterback. But, dude, I really do have the worst luck with football. Dude. I wonder how many other uh, girls that have been in my life that have slept with football players. First of all, let me just say this, okay? Football players be getting around. So, yeah. like, the chances are pretty high. I don't date gremlins. Football players. Well, okay. No, I'm just kidding. Um, dude, I guarantee you, if you ask your girl, if she ever... Dude, hers huh? are even worse. She, like, fuck like, the captain of the surf team in college. And you're loser. Like, She's a loser. That guy just reeks of HPV. You guy just has... Just floating pneumonia on him. I don't even know what that is. I don't know either. What is pneumonia? Nobody Sickness? knows. Uh, liquid in the lungs, I think. How you spell up. pneumonia is one of the craziest spellings ever. P. Crazy. I, I stand behind PH, get it out of here. This is the thing. We control language. So if everyone just got together and was like, we're not going to use PH anymore, it's F. Eventually, the Oxford Dictionary would be like, ah, fuck. They're not doing yeah. it anymore. Who do you think is cool? Like if they're both at a party, you got PH in one corner, porn up, PH, yeah. and then you got an F in the other corner. Like who do you think, are, who's sizing up who? Dude, the PH has a monocle and opera yeah, glasses. That's true. that's true. And the H is like smaller. It's like carrying around caviar with it. It's do you like think P, the H even anything? wants to be there? I think the I, P. I think the P pays the H. Oh, really? I it's think... like, like a little like, oh, it's my servant, H. Oh. 
Yeah. I, I honestly, to me, the, the, the P kind of forces H to be there. It's a big, it's like a me too situation. The H yeah. is like, I'd like to go with the F. What's F H? How do you say that? <laughs> I think exactly <laughs> that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is like that a, a word? Sparrow coming. <laughs> Do you remember when you found out that P-H-A-T, fat, was cool? It meant, like, cool? I'd always go up to my sister and be like, you're so fat, Jimmy. I love fat. I'm like, no, but P-H, P-H. That was always the big turning point. You're like, oh, you, P-H. She, she comes to the dressing room, you say you look fat, and you that go, was, nah, P-H. Yeah, that was the original YouTube. It's a prank, it's a prank. I love that. I can't wait to just rob a bank, but it's a prank. And they're like, oh, You're still right. going to jail. Can I get the footage? How do you, <laughs> can you say it's a prank? Yeah. Like, well, are, are the charges less if you walk into a bank holding like a fake gun, everyone on the ground, and then go, just joking, it's a prank. I mean, you're going to prison, but it's got to be less, obviously, right? You might get a few a few laughs. and be like, guy be like, yeah, you fucking got me good. Cops like, that's good. Then he just tackles your ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you're, I mean, have you ever had handcuffs on you? Besides in a sexual situation? Have you ever used handcuffs in no. a sexual situation? Me either. No. No. They're so stupid. Hey, yeah. I'm in trouble. Also, the ones you buy at like the sex store aren't good. They're no, like they're plastic. Yeah, they're bought from uh, like the, the wholesale vendor at Chuck E. Cheese. Like you can use a finger to get off of them. And if yeah. I don't like this, I'm like, get huh? out. I just remember something. Oh, shit. Man, man, this is this is right up your alley. This is new for me. Okay, well, right up my alley. Strike, baby, <laughs> strike, baby, turkey. My, how, why are three strikes turkeys? We're already talking about this. I don't give a fuck. Gobble, What's gobble. four strikes? A rooster? Hammer! <laughs> so, I was doing... If you get four strikes in a row, you don't know where your kids are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, you, 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 what's your life? Legend. If you're good enough... Do you think get... bowlers are good at fingering? No. No? What type Two. of cooter do you think bowlers get? <laughs> the best. Really? That's what I'm saying. I think, think women, they just like... shove Budweiser cans in their hoo-hahs. <laughs> That's why I think it no, is. I, but don't you think it's like a he got good grip down there? Like he could he got at least he could like the what's the opposite of two in the pink, one in the stink? It's one in the pink, two in the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> Long title. Um no I'm saying but okay, anyways. Sex. What is it? Hootie. Who? I haven't had it like a week and a half. Your boy's about to you think I'm flying to Vegas? No, I'm nutting on the ground <laughs> like a pogo stick. <laughs> Have you ever seen those Can I things? get a ride, dude? These yeah. goddamn airplane tickets are expensive. Economy. Have you seen those uh, those rockets? Economy. Coming to me. Come in me. Come me? me, me. Have you seen those? those Come in me. Yeah. You ever have a girl say it to you? Yeah. Oh, hold your horses, madam. Okay. Let the horses go. Huh? Yeehaw. Huh? <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever yelled after nutting? Oh, mom. Well, I know what clip Gabe's starting the episode with. <laughs> it is very interesting <laughs> to just, I was watching your set when we did Ontario. Yeah. And I was just like, the amount of confidence is go out in front of 300 people and be like, <laughs> I'm trying to fuck my mom. And then, but, but that's what I love about it is it's such a big right off the bat premise. Yeah. And then you work your way into it and you look around and there's there's a couple dudes being like, he ain't wrong. The couple logic, dudes being like, that checks out. The logic is not flawed. That's what it's I'm saying. It's a wild thought. <laughs> but the logic is not but, flawed. But that's what I'm saying. Like Bill Burr comes up with a crazy like statement and backtracks it up. And yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, that's what Michael's doing. But this this time is about his mom getting piped out on a Thursday. Are you saying I'm Bill Burr? I think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no sex. You. Why? I just haven't seen her in a while. Do you have a car? Yeah. Do you know where she lives? Yeah. How's the gas mileage? Not great. Okay. Mine either. No. Right. Uh, it's it's just been I've had shows every night and this has been you know scheduling. But yeah, you know I'm 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 you know I'm uh I'm preserving the nut. Oh, so you're not a uh, big old jail? No, I am. Buddy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but in my dumb fucking alpha brain, I feel like there's two channels of nut. There's like a jail nut, and then there's that sex nut. And That's then, a good theory. Wrong. It's not, but theory. <laughs> Mentally, I tell myself that. All right. Whatever. All fucking little bit fireworks in Las Vegas. And more than one way. God damn. damn. Sad. Anyways, but the last time we did was great. It was a it was a little freaky type of one. Oh. One of those spontaneous ones. Oh. Where your dick's like 
am I sleepwalking right now? Where were you in the Ross dressing room? <laughs> You guys like that place in the weirdest places. This was actually on a bed. Weird. Ew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear this story. Gross. Yeah. Purple mattresses. <laughs> run it. But at, at one point, and I don't, I'm new to this type of world. So uh -oh. I'm, I'm curious to know if this is in the right or the wrong. But she. Uh-oh. Spit in my mouth. <laughs> I was like, hold on. I think it's supposed to be the opposite here. <laughs> I think the spit out, I threw back at her. I was like, that's not. Yeah. <laughs> she was riding on top every second and she's just like making out with me and she spit on my mouth and I was like I got a question yeah am I supposed to I this thought I was supposed to take out the trash hey, on Tuesdays that's my role the, you said my line hold on did she give you a little did she was your mouth just open or she told you to open your mouth no she didn't tell me that. so why crazy. is your mouth open I'm heavy breathing I'm fucking <laughs> So your mouth, athletic. your mouth is I don't know. No, I think we're just making out. And then afterwards she went up and then. That's kind of sound like the <clears> stiff <throat> spot. All right, hold on. Uh, I was more so confused. But that was also like the time a girl choked me in college. I was like, hold on. You're getting a lot of like. Beta vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, hold yeah, on. And then I turned over for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I was confused. I'm not, I'm not against any of this. I was stoked that she took it there. Cause I'm like, okay, we. Yeah. A little freaky. Yeah. Little. Knock, knock. Who's there? BDSM. Well, many doors away, but it's a step in the right direction. Oh, we're uh, that's a leap in the right direction. Yeah. She's been it. Well, hold on. Maybe we just found out that she's a dom. And maybe we just found out that you are uh -oh. a sub. I don't like this. An Italian sub. Uh, substitute yeah. teacher, man. Uh, Mitch. Um, are those on. random people who become substitute teachers? Yeah. Like one of my friends who was infamous for chugging beers the fastest in the group now just teaches kindergarten and third grade exclusively. Yeah. You used to be a caddy. <laughs> you can't teach. What, what fucking egg? You don't know anything about yeah. accounting. Yeah. I've seen you eat raw eggs before going to a tailgate and saying, it's protein, bro. Yeah. And now you teach seven-year-olds? I've seen you tuck your penis in between your legs yeah. and run around Dave and Buster's screaming, there's a bomb, there's a bomb. <laughs> and now you... What is your lesson you plan? Just art? putting on JRE and be like, you guys like Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan's so good. Not better than this podcast, but it's pretty good. Hold on. Are you a sub? I don't know. I don't... I, oh, I, was... I, I like this. I like that you're totally not... You're not like a dude that's like, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm against it. I was more confused, but I was excited. This was it all happened so quick. Did it get you hard? Did, were you like, oh shit? Did you like it? I liked that realm. All I was right. like, let me do it next. I've I've spit in her mouth before. One time I missed. You ever miss? No. You spit on her cheek and you're like, this is just disrespectful at this point. Dude, <laughs> this but is just rude. <laughs> God damn. Hey, everyone. Big shout out to our first sponsor of the mother effing episode, Better, Better Hell. Hell. Let me tell you something. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? All right. I'm a huge advocate for therapy. I've been in therapy for years. I don't know where I would be without it. Um, and uh, I do, uh, during the pandemic, I realized that doing uh, kind of like FaceTime therapy is not as bad as I thought. And that's exactly what BetterHelp does. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Okay, you can start communicating in under 48 hours hours Trev just started and therapy I did I just started therapy you I, love do, it. I do it weekly it's great and I do want to say about better help that it's huh. it's not a crisis line it's not a self help but it's a professional therapy done securely online so you can do it at home and with that you might be able to get a broad range of expertise mm -hmm. expertise uh -huh. available which may not be locally available in many areas you know the service is available through clients worldwide miss worldwide ho ho uh, you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist, okay? You can get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. Okay, how do we get it? I will tell you, okay? Visit betterhelp.com backslash socks. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional that is betterhelp.com backslash socks. Special offer for Stiff Socks listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash socks. God damn. But that's the next level I got to. What? Spit I'd, on the forehead? Nah, dude. I'd, be, I'd literally turn the face and spit on the cheek. That's, that's, that spit in the mouth is like, ooh, we're all enjoying it. The turn, turn your fucking face and then spit on the cheek that's like 
are you even a human? Yeah, that's bold. It's a lot. I it the thought of it, I'm like seventeen percent. How it feels a right. two five gun? Yeah, <clears throat> you got down right. So were you into it? Uh, I, I now that I'm like okay, door's knocking. All right, let's yeah. let's spruce it up a little bit, dude. I now got, I'm gonna choose some Copenhagen. <laughs> um, hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I just didn't know. Like I, I stoked for her to do it. Well, okay, let me ask you this: Were you stoked for her to do it because it got you aroused? You're stoked for her to do it because you're like, oh, this is like a stepping stone Correct. towards like more crazier shit. Yeah, 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 more. So, so you shit. weren't into it like sexually, maybe like a little. Yeah, I, I was confused. I was like, what more spit in my mouth? Right. Put it on my. Give it to him. Cock. Yeah. Why do they call it a cock? We've already had this house, and I don't care. Wake you know, me cock up in the is morning. Backwards. Cock, dumb, dumb. K, what? Okay, I'd like to ask you this because there was one time that my my girl got like a little a, like a little aggressive. She was on top, and she held my arms down. Yeah, she yeah. held my arms down. And I'm gonna be honest. Everyone, if they took a quiz, Hawthorne, if they took a quiz, <laughs> <laughs> they took a quiz that listened to this podcast for a while, and they're like, would Michael enjoy that? Everyone would say no. But there was part of me that was like, hold on, I might be into this. So I might need to open up my like sexual uh, identity and be like, I might enjoy being a sub every now and again. So that's why I'm kind of questioning you because you might like, you're like, oh shit, I might like this. Because there's a lot of dudes that like being subs. Getting their dick stepped on with a Timberland boot. Yeah, that's a new level. But usually I'm the one roughhousing. So this was- You're the was, bouncer. Yeah. She shows Show ID. me your ID. Yeah. No hats in the club. Get out. Get in. Yeah. Get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in my bed. Yeah. So it was nice for her. I don't know. She was on top. It would have been weird if she was like on her back and she spit up like it was yeah. a water fountain. I'm like, like ah. she's a Catching dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was the last time we did uh, uh, the the sex. Did you come immediately when she spit in your mouth? No, but I was rocked up. Dude, I'm telling you, you might be it into it. In the, well, I think it was in the motion. It was all, it was just going on. You know, she could have made a fucking haiku poem on my back and I would have been into it, you know? It so was what, all over the place. what minute was this? Minute one, two, three, four? Well, minute 30, 30 four. How many seconds are we in? <laughs> there we go. That was probably five to six. Hell yeah, dude. This was, you know, usually I feel like the, the woman gets on top later in the game. It could be whatever. Dude, sometimes. Or you there, start on top every once in a while? There was a recent sexual. Yeehaw. Hold on. Where are the reins? <laughs> what is it? Um, <clears throat> the last uh, SCX that my girl and I had, hey, we when was it? Let me smell your fingers. Do, we didn't have too. Why did we not have too much time? Oh, she had a meeting and I had to go. We literally had like I think we had like ten minutes. Whoa. Yeah. Those Which pre Zoom hits? Those pre I got a meeting hit. Yeah, because those are the I, I tell I tell you what, but I knew. That sometimes she takes a little bit to come. Mm -hmm. So you know what we did? I took out the big guns. I got in. I did like one pump and I go, where's the dildo? Yeah. Where's the vibration? Buzz, buzz. Because we need we need to expedite this C-U-M, miss. Yeah. And she goes, it's up in the closet. She's like mid-sex brain. She goes, it's in the closet. She points. She ain't got a small closet. I'm rummaging like I'm looking for a fucking vintage t-shirt rocked up. Oh, yeah. I'm hitting the fucking... You got clothes <laughs> just stuck yeah. on your dog? Yeah, I'm just like, I, I can't find it. Yeah. So Get I'm... An Ugg boot on your cock after you Get this shit out yeah, of here. I mean, Actually, that felt kind of good. <laughs> there was so much shit happening. And she eventually... Because she was like, no, left. Right. I'm just like, can you get up and find it? It was in the completely wrong place. It wasn't It wasn't on top. It was in, in the bottom. But as soon as we got it out, let me tell you something. You put it in the buzz buzz spot, 30 seconds. Lickety split. Come. Slippity, slippity, slidity. Here's the problem, though. If you find everybody's button, like, she can make me come in 45 seconds. She knows where my button is. Do you know where it is? B-U-T-T. -T. <laughs> okay? Right in there. Lickety goddamn split. Car wash my ass. I am. Ding dong. Here what floor are we going to? Come. <laughs> yeah. So she knows how to get me off fast. Now with the vibratorator, I know how to get her off fast. But my fear is, because once you get in that mode, 
then like sex becomes almost a little transactional because you go, you come, now you come. I don't, I want to kind of- Eucalyptus. The eucalyptus. Tits, yeah. Tits. Um, yeah, but I mean, there's a, there was, think about the scenario. She got a Zoom meeting. Right, you right, got to right. go yell about feet somewhere yeah, in, yeah. in Tennessee. So, you know, you got to just, you got to wrap it up. This, that's The settings for that were not great. Right. I just, you, you know. Shot clock. Yeah. Shot but- Cock. Um, it's it's similar. Uh, like imagine if you had like a button where you can be like I'm hungry, then you press it and you're full. I wish. I know, but that's that's where I'm going with this. Yeah. Because nice then it's like, oh, do you make a whole Hello Fresh? Do you do you do you know what well, I mean? Well, they both have different purposes, right? Do you feel? I ba- like that. You have a little bit. You get a little bit of, you get some Burger King, you go get the new little fucking honey meal. Yeah. You're not going to feel great after eating fast food. I want to hit him so hard in the face, his eyeliner comes off. Little honey? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I'll fight him. I'm just going to get clout. Who wants to fight me? <laughs> yeah, but but it's like you have some Burger King, it fills you up for a second, then you don't feel great after. And that's what you're feeling. You're like, ah, we, I mean, it was sex, but was it? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to get everyone all fast, but like, I do like, the sex being like a session. I like, Mm. I like multiple positions. Put it on the Google calendar. Yeah, I I like it. I like when it- it, How many positions you running it through? Um, (laughs) I'd probably say like five, probably on average five. Okay. Yeah. Six, I mean, if it's a birthday. Birthday. Yeah, I'm getting another man in here, hot, hot, (laughs) hike. Oh, get the tight end for this tight end. God damn. damn. Oh, All right. Yeah. Um, Speaking of hot, can I just bring this up real quick? Sure. I met her brother. Oh. Yesterday. And? Bed. Really? Hot. Skin like a caramel teddy bear. Wow. Let me touch it. Dude, he was literally, there's, he's the nicest dude in the world. Super yeah. cool. <clears throat> he's crazy high end job, but like, but very, very nice, funny. Um, But he was talking to me. I'd be looking at him. I'd be like, hold up. Sir, I ain't listening. I can't listen. You look like my girl with short hair. This ain't okay. Am I trying to be? It's a weird thing because they do look so similar. But he has obviously more mask on the features, but they look so similar. It's like confusing. It's like, hold up. I'm hard for your sister. Weird. If you're listening, I'm sorry. But like, and then I look at him. I'm like, you look very much like, hold up. You know what I mean? My my wires are getting crossed. Who's who am I getting? Who am I supposed to get hard for? Someone tell me. <laughs> You're supposed to get hard for love, Michael. Kumbaya, AKA my lord. Him. Turn up. Um, but he's so hot. Yeah, I mean that's generally how family works. Well, you do you get that with your with your girl's brother? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, bro. Uh, no. All right. Well, throw me under the bus. I did. It. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. But like, but like all, all the, she, all the, he looks like her aside. He's a beefcake stunning dude. Yeah. So like he has this skin where you're like, oh, that must be milk. Yeah. Like it's just, it's just so. Dip pers- a cookie in it. Please. Yeah. And then he looks, uses his green eyes. Whoa. Who the hell's, what are you even saying? Yeah. You, you, you've been talking about fucking poker for the last three minutes. Who the hell's listening to you, sir? You're hot. <laughs> Lick me. Lick me. Lick me. Funny thing to say in the middle of a conversation. Yes. Sir, lick me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. My girl went to the Kidney? bathroom. My girl went to the bathroom. At, we were eating dinner. My girl went to the bathroom. And I was like. Should we go to the bathroom? Yeah. Do you want to get a milkshake? Two straws? God damn. Wow. Is he is he like an established man? Kind of roughly around the same age? Or is he? Roughly around the same age. Great job. Great arms. Lives around here? Great golf swing. No, he lives in- Golf the, swing? Yeah. You saw his golf swing? We literally, I met him at the driving you range. You love the driving range. Bro, my girl Have loves golf now. Have y'all fucked the driving range yet? Oh shit, we should. Nine iron, nine iron. I ain't got no nine iron. Get out the sandwich. I got a 60 degree wedge at best. <laughs> Pro V1 that was it. Oh. Could be. Could be. Title? Maybe title. title. Yeah. Um, yeah, but my, I told you, my girl is like so into golf at this point. So every like free moment, she's like, you know what we should do? I go, drive range. She goes, yeah. She like lights up. I'm like, oh, yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. great. It's awesome. 
Damn. Yeah, you, you know how like when you're at the golf course and you see like a like a husband and a wife play golf and you're like, oh god, I feel bad for him. He fucking she just like forcing her way into his like away time from her. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this is not like she's like very into it. It's nice. not even yeah. It's not even like oh you play golf so let me force my way in. She's like yeah yeah. And she gets better every single time. Anyways, that's why I met the the brother. Yeah. And great golf swing. Mm -hmm. He's a fat ass. <laughs> like a, like a dump truck, Just bro. Wagoned up. Yeah. He was like, beep, can, I get, can I get some beep, pointers? I said, yeah. Beep. I went behind him. I said, I can't even Is this point enough for you? Huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Looks like there's two bunkers on this <laughs> goddamn course. Oh. Good for him, man. Um, Yeah, he's a... What's his name? Dox him. All right. <laughs> Studebaker. Studebaker. Yep. Wow. Isn't it weird that your brain just says, say Studebaker? Where the hell did that come from? Anything. It's not even a name. It's the name of a car, like in the 50s. I met somebody with the last name Studebaker. No. Studebaker, yeah. Studebaker's a great name. Studebaker. How do you feel about Stu? Uh, you have to have gray hair. Stu? Yeah. Yeah. Stu is also a name for soup, right? Stu? Stu is like- Stu soup porridge. All three of those are terrible representations for what it is. I think stew is what witches make. Soup is what your mom makes you when she's bored and doesn't know what to make. What's porridge? Poor people's yogurt. Hot yogurt. <laughs> Ew. Hot yogurt. We talk about porridge 600 times on this thing. I, let's make porridge. Is there a difference? Porridge is an oatmeal, right? Yeah, I think so. The next time Oliver says, can I have some more? Why do you want more? It's gross. Yeah, I don't know. Who's Oliver? Oliver Twist? Great name. Oliver Twist? What, what is happening right now? It's a... <laughs> Charles Dickens? Yeah. Uh, okay. Charles Dickens, Oliver Let's Twist is a that? character. <clears throat> was it the Christmas it, story? Song? Like, I know this shit. But it's like, it's like, a, it's like an iconic thing. When he goes, excuse me, sir. Can I have some more? Ask me who started the Renegade. I'll tell you. I who? don't know. <laughs> who the hell? Why is it called the Renegade? Because the producer tag on it is Renegade. It's not even the, like the Renegade. That's like the producer. That's the dude's producer tag. It has nothing to do with the song. Is the, producer, the producer name Renegade? Yeah. That's oh. like his. I'm 99% I'm sure. Uh, what was the song that they started that shit with? I it's forget. a K-Camp song, right? It's but a who? K-Camp. K-Camp? K-Camp. Camping, tent, pitch tent, bone erection. K-Camp. But it's like the producer tag that's like Renegade. <laughs> That was my accurate representation. Can we play it? I can't wait to be uh, in an old nursing home someday yelling about TikTok and everybody there is like, God, Trevor's really going off the rails. And I'm like, speaking of rails, you know who actually did the first renegade on a roller coaster? Me. <laughs> the Six Flags guy. Is he really old? Is that a costume? It's a costume. Ba, 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 Dude, Dude, what if that was some girl's fantasy to get clapped out by the Six Flags guy? There is. And when she comes, she goes, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is that the place where you can bring a Coke and get in free? Uh, not free, you but you get, you get, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You get a little discount. It's on the back of the coat. Here's a can. That's crazy. It's not free though. It's like $6 off. I, no. Dude, also, hey, Six Flags, every other place, stop charging so much for parking. Yeah, well, You go, there's genius. like $68 for parking. Yeah, genius. Yeah, I just Uber there. They get- Disneyland? Hit. Can you do that? Yeah. I Ubered, the last time I went to Six Flags, I Ubered. You it was parked somewhere then Ubered there? Yeah. That's actually very smart. Yeah, you, you park, park like- Jack in the Box? Yeah, like two blocks away, Uber, like 15 bucks. So instead of paying 60, you just Uber there. Have you guys ever seen the uh, Six Flags guy out of costume? No, I see him. Is he hot? Very surprising. For some reason, I just assumed he would be kind of an older guy, but- What? That's him? That's him? That's him. Why is he all jacked up? No fucking Yo, go, way. Can you go, see all the boxes go, yep, and all the way left. The second row, all the way left. Oh, there we go. Wow. Doug. Hold up. Does he need golf lessons? <laughs> uh, damn. Dude, what's his net worth? That's him? It is him. Dude, imagine him in a bar. He's like, yeah, I'm the Six Flags guy. And like, sir, shut up. <laughs> you do porn in Van Nuys. He definitely does. I, I, When I look at him, I think he just ropes cum out of his cock. Just like, just, it looks no. like Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about That's that. That's not, yeah. dude, yeah. no. Everyone's net worth is wrong. Are are. Yeah. It said my network was like two million. I was like, yeah, okay, okay bro. It's four. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. God damn. Hey, guys, it's your boy Trevor Walls here. And uh, I just want to ask you guys, doesn't it seem like the world is against us from getting a good night's sleep this time of the year? Yeah. What is that, huh? Hey, birds, shut up. Hey, guy next to me that's playing a trombone.
don't do that. Is it it's good? six in the morning. Is it good? Kind of. <laughs> okay. I mean, brah, brah. I don't well, even know I'll how you're you in trouble. What man? Look, what if you can't control the environment? You know you can't control what? what type of mattress you're sleeping on, baby. That's where purple comes into play. Purple mattresses, baby. They'll keep you cool and comfortable no matter what the world throws at you that is because purple huh. mattresses have the grid, grid. What is it? instagram the grid. grid it's unique ventilated design allows for airflow all through it so to help you sleep cool even when it feels like it's a thousand degrees out and that's too hot the grid instagram is amazingly supportive for your back my ass my pussy and my legs while cushioning your shoulders <laughs> necks and hips no matter how you sleep unlike memory foam which remembers Everything. Everything. Wah, wah, wah. The night you came too quick. The grid bounces back as you move and shift, so you never get that I'm stuck feeling you do with memory foam. I'll tell you something else. I recently got the gosh darn purple mattress because my girl and I were arguing because she hated my bed. I said, let's keep it. She said, let's get a new mattress. I said, well, I'll do ads for purple. Let's just get a purple mattress. And let me tell you something. Both of us, I sleep on my back. She sleeps on her side and we're both cool and comfortable. And I don't feel her moving throughout the gosh darn night, which is freak. And she hasn't snored the whole time. We've got the purple mattress. So listen, okay, try your purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing available to, uh, damn. Purple uh, is damn. comfort reinvented. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash socks and use promo code socks. That's purple.com slash socks, promo code socks for 10% off any order of $200 or more, purple.com slash socks, promo code socks, terms apply. God damn. Yo, Michael. Yeah. Is this you in this TikTok that people have been sending us a bunch recently? Dude, I keep getting uh, tagged in this. And the answer is yes, it is 100% me. It's kind of nuts that people, this many people knew it was me. Because I'm not even, you can barely see my face in this. Yeah. Well, how many episodes of Punk did you do? Um... Uh, I think I did like eight. Holy shit. Right. Yeah. Damn. Hamburger. Damn. Hamburger. Ham dot dot double burger. Can you say hamburger? Double, what would you say? Double cheeseburger sounds very easy off the tongue. Double hamburger? Weird. Very double weird. hamburger, you're gonna shoot up a post on <laughs> Double. How do you feel about hamburgers? How do you feel? You go out somewhere. Well, I think one of my managers does this. He goes, let me just, we'll be at like a nice ass restaurant, yeah. right? He's like, yeah, let me get a burger, but just ketchup. Ew. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, you're not going to be a good dad. Let me get a burger. Just ketchup. That's just, nope. Some people just like, they're very like, I've been eating this since I was nine and this is what I'm sticking to. Yeah, weirdo. Give Open me your all mind. The, give me the fixings. Give me the fixings. Take the- I need some crunch. I, you like pickles like a weirdo, huh? Love them. Ew. You don't like pickles? I like pickles naked. Just give me regular pickle. Like, I'll eat a, I'll eat a whole pickle. Bah, 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 but I don't want it on my burger. Grilled onions- yeah, mayo, Dude, that's ketchup. The, that's the thing. You get the grilled onion and the pickle on Gross. there. Rap, pop, 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 pop. Good. Awful. Ba -da -pop, pop, pop, give it to me. Okay, not awful. I could take it. It's fine. You're sitting like a bad bitch that just got broken up with. You trying to get fucked, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All it's right. just crazy to be a, a like I've said this a million times that I don't care I can't get it out of my brain. A woman, to, imagine just being a woman walking around being like I could fuck. Walk into a subway. Six out of seven dudes would fuck right now. Crazy. Like, if if they didn't approach on such a crazy... Like, if she walked up to dudes like, hey, trying to fuck... Like, sure, the percentage would drop. But, like, if she was just, like, regular, she's like, hey, like, hey, you're kind of cute, blah, 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 blah. After two minutes, could fuck in the Nissan Maxima, no problem. because guys have this thing uh, called what? being horny. Oh. Horny. How do you how do you become less horny? So I could focus on writing jokes as opposed to jerking my cock off in my office. Well, that's what it is. You jerk off, and then you got like a two hour window where you're like, I'm not gonna be horny. But you ever try to write jokes after you come? It's awful. I just scribble. I'm like, man, fuck. I I, <laughs> I just I trace up, my hand and make it a turkey. But, oh shit. Yeah, I end up writing a crayon. Like I can't even read that. Yeah, shit. I end up turning that hand to jerk me off later. Anyways, uh, oh goddamn. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, Speaking of, you, oh, go ahead. What are you saying? I don't know. You said speaking of. I don't even know where I was going. Sometimes I say things that I just uh, hope 
things come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, my, it's come. My girlfriend and I were talking about this yesterday because she was uh, uh, we got out of the gym and she wanted to. She was just like hot and she wanted to like just take off her shirt. Yeah, but she yeah, can't. Yeah. I was thinking how funny it is. The take bet. off the little sports thing and I was like, it's so funny to me that she has valuable nipples. What and I mean? just don't. Oh, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, like oh. my nipples, right. like I can go shirtless and it's like, I'm not going to get arrested. Nothing's going to happen. No one's yeah. going to care even. Right. But like women have nipples that are like, this is valuable. Like you yeah. have to like hide them. Mm. You can like, people will pay money to see them. Yeah. It's just such an they interesting do. difference. They created yeah. where? <laughs> Only fans? I'm in. Uh, I it, mean, dude, the, like the amount of titty tassels we're about to see is crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. You can walk into a white castle with a motherfucking tassels over your tits yeah and they can't go well no shirt no service they just go yeah man what can we <clears throat> i'm gonna take my fine <laughs> but titty like tassels. but don't you think titty tassels create like give get more attention just give me the areola it would be less well that's what it is yeah but it's like you have glitter all over your tits and like like a hot wears car taped on your on your areola and you're like this is better is it more attention. Well, no, so no, just no, let no, them no, have the area. Oh, I see what you're saying. Free the nipple. There you go. Free it. Well, what if that's my first? I'm there. I don't have a tattoo. What is that? My first tattoo. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. And it's around your nipple. Uh, yeah. Nipple. Weird word. Change it right now. Nipple. Nip. Oh. Nipple. Free the nip. Nip what? slip. You know how sometimes they drink and people in the old days they go, oh, I just it's just like a little nip of alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. Was it from Let the me tits? just get a nip of some nip. Tits. Title. No. All right. What Pumped. are we doing here? TikTok. 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 Thought it was a clock. Um, do you guys want to watch this? Yeah, I'm curious. All right. Come on. <laughs> Where are you? Finally. Hey, guys. Uh, 1217. I feel like it's worse than downtown. Downtown's on this guy. Where's it going? Like he can't just drive around? Yeah. It's not what I ordered. What do you mean? Does that look like a chili hot dog to you? Nope. Not You're honking? Dude. Yo, just get your food and go. You know how to do this. I can't drive. There's someone blocking the driveway. Here you go. Here's your change. Thanks, sir. Jesus, dude. They put lettuce and tomato this on this. This is the two burgers. Are you watch who you honk at in this side of town? Can you just move your car so I can get out of here? Not till I get my order right. You talking to me? No. I didn't give him a 20, did I? Yeah, give him a 100. Dude, it's not me. It's not me. It's the guy back there. It's not Is that me. you? Yo, fuck you, son. Oh, yeah, creeping sure. out, you little baby. I ain't going nowhere now. We gave you a $100 bill. I'm pretty sure it was a 20. No, bro. No, no dude, that was a 100. You... Oh, my God, bro. What's up? Hey, man, we gave that guy That's a $100 bill. That's Santino? He gave us back eight ones. Hey, dude, and this guy's This guy's this fucking driveway. Hey, you got to move, bro. And I was going to leave, but this is some bullshit. Give me a second, That's dude. a clear shot of you. Fuck this shit, man. That's a clear shot of you. Yeah. Fuck this fucking noise. Hey, no, 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 no. You think I like this shit, yeah. man? <laughs> what do you got now? What do you got? What are you doing? Fuck it, everybody. What are you doing? Fuck. What do you got now, son? Go, go get some. <laughs> what happened? Oh, you just got pulled. <laughs> oh, Bam was hosting. <laughs> Are you <laughs> Being on the veteran of MTV, you had to have a hazing. Welcome to the family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. TikTok, thought it was a clock. Yeah, I would be pissed if it wasn't Ashton Kutcher. I'd be like, bam, I love you, but where's Ashton? Where is he? <laughs> Too busy being mean to me. A Ashton Kutcher's mean to you? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. How did. All right, I'm Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Yeah, and he spit in my what, mouth. What, so what? What he was? No, he wasn't mean to me. I'm, well, being, I'm, I'm exaggerating. No, I think I told you the story when when I was testing uh, for the show. I had to fly here, and we did like a bunch of improv and stuff in the office. Mm -hmm. And then I got hired, and he came into the office. The first time I ever met him, he came in. I was talking to the EP, executive producer, and he came in the office door and was like, "Oh, this is the new guy we hired." And the EP was like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Yeah, I mean." Your your audition tape like wasn't good. I'm not really sure, like why really? you're here. But um, but yeah, I, I guess I just walked out. Hey, he wasn't fucking with you. That was real. The, it was <clears throat> it was the first day 
I think I was still testing actually. So I was still in like the have the it, like I was still in the testing phase. So I think he was trying to get in my head a little bit, but like, bro, I, this was the first time I was ever in LA. Like I was so fucking scared. It was like this, like I mean, at the time, like this big show and shit, and I was like losing my mind. And and that's what he said to me. Like, wow. after, yeah, dude. And I, I was there. That. I was there all day. I don't know why I testing. Thought you, I thought you only did one episode for some reason, but you were on like a full season because you did one. Who who was it? Something about balls getting stuck or something? Yeah, I did. Uh, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian. Well, we did Miley Cyrus first, and, yeah. then, we did, and then it was like the same. We did the sort of the same uh, prank to like three or four. Was it? Yeah, Miley Cyrus, and we did to Khloe Kardashian. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, do you talk to Bam at all, or real quick, or? Nah, everything was like. I mean, everyone was cool. But so you were in the car, and you have like a headset on, like okay, honk. Yeah. Honk. Yeah. Honk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, it's pretty easy. I lived in New York for nine years. This is easy. I'm good. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. Ha ha. Ha ha. It was so weird though because it was, you had the earpiece in and you had so many people yelling at you what to do and you had to like filter what they wanted you to do to what you thought was funny and add your own to it was I mean improvising so, and saying serious I thought Santino did a great job yeah. oh he was dude up. he was phenomenal yeah because he, he he plays a good asshole you're dude. like do you hate me he's like no I'm special oh, okay dude but still he was so, like I think I don't know if I said this on the, on the thing before man but there was uh there was one sketch I think it was like the or one sorry prank the maybe the first or second one that I was on set for and they had to do pickups which is essentially People who don't know, like, so the whole sketch is done, and then he, you go back into the original position, um, and you kind of just like riff lines. So if they want to, like, kind of, like, kind of pick off funnier lines, and literally the director was like, "All right, uh, all right, go," and Santino, I'm not shitting you. He, I think he routed off like six in a row that were like heaters. Yeah, like funny funny lines mm -hmm. i was just i was like in the val in the video village being like this guy's <sighs> so funny yeah it was the first time where i was in a room where i was like oh everyone's crazy funny oh that's why they booked this yeah but, it was like i mean because dude they went through like a nationwide search or whatever so it's like yeah like the funny of the funny whatever like it obviously fit the the type of person they needed yeah but also like yeah dude i mean it was like were there other comedians on during your time uh, I'm trying to think about other stamps you know. Uh, Jade Catapreta did a few episodes. Okay. Um, and you know Barry Rothbart? I know the name. Yeah, super funny comic dude. He's a great actor too. He was on. He was on for a few. Um, Damn, I would have loved to do that episodes. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, you would have been. They great. brought it back, and Chance the Rapper was the the one who hosted it, but it went on Quibi, which was just too successful for everyone, and was like, you know, what? I don't need you guys, world, and then uh, just stop making content. Yeah, That's what happened? Exactly. What um, happened. I don't know. I saw this. The MTV is bringing back cribs, and I was like, in the year 2021, I don't want people to know what I'm living with because technology's too high. You can find too much. You're yeah. like, this is my 10 million dollar home, and look at this. I have a chair made of rare endangered diamonds that I stole <laughs> from this museum, and then it's like you're just bragging, and then it's just like you can people find out where you live all the time. Like I'll see on TikTok, it'll be like. I literally saw someone be like, this is Cody Coe's brand new $3 million house. And he like just moved in there. I was like, how do you know that? Right. Oh, now oh, it's oh, out I see. there. Now people are like, oh, this motherfucker has an arcade game made out of velvet. I, I, I'm going to rob this guy. But you know that that dude on the same line of thinking that dude that like can figure out how tall people are based on just like the yeah, video or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they can do with like, oh, they can like screenshot, zoom in. Oh, he lives yeah. on, looks at this mountain dude, from this second, angle. Any of these people like post about like new house tour, it's within seconds. They're like, okay, doxed. No. This is, so in 2021, I would rent a studio apartment in Northridge and I'd be like, yeah, this is it. Got a mini fridge, a couple monsters, a couple G fuels up in this bitch, and some uh, Slim Jims in the fridge. Yeah, I keep them frozen to I preserve them a little bit. Just realize that do people, and maybe the answer is yes, when they did their cribs, were they just renting a home? Did they just like rent a bigger home to be like, this is mine? I don't know. I remember somebody, uh, maybe a ludicrous or something, but he like had his real house. And was like, you thought the shit was going to be nice? This is what it really is. I forget what it was. But. Um, Mariah Carey did one, and I was just like, do you remember Mariah Carey back in the day? I remember her today. Uh, hey. Yeah. Remember when Nick Cannon had Mariah tatted on his back? He got that tatted on his back? Yeah, you didn't really get Mariah on his back? No. You ever had pussy so good, you get her full name tattooed in ink? 
on your back. He even got the middle name. Her Mariah Carey's middle name's Roger. No way. It's not, but funny. If it was, oh. he got Mariah oh, Roger so Carey. Um, um, the list is kind of interesting that they're going to do for the new one. They're going to do Rick Ross's, which I feel like that one will be ooh. fun. But a, a lot of the, these are like not people I would expect. Like, what else? Doing, like, we've got uh, Big Sean, okay. Martha Stewart, uh, Snooki from uh, uh, Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Was you, did you guys have one friend who was like oddly obsessed with Jersey Shore growing up? Like I kind of went through it. Like, we, yeah. I think we all watched it, but there's one. Like, yeah. I think every friend group had like one guy who like was a master class to him. Yeah, that really took it serious. Like the gym my tan laundry was, thing. My gym, he was all about it. He'd be like, cabs are here. I'd be like, that's your dad. Your dad is picking us up from the party. What are you talking about? Dude. Cabs are here? No, that's Dennis. What was, hold on. The, why am I say the professional? What was his name? The situation. The situation, thank you. Um, I had like, that was everyone's like, dude. Yeah. Then he went to jail 40 times for yeah, tax Yeah, and everybody evasion. still was like, yeah, yeah, everybody deserves a second chance. Are, is this Poly show D's, still going? Well, they brought back like nine different versions. They have like Florida Bama Shore, which is Florida and Alabama, like has like a thing, which, yeah, I, I don't know. They're, they're like on Jersey Shore reunion. I don't know what the fuck MTV is doing. It's ridiculousness. It's cuteness. It's like all these like ness things. I told you I had a pitch meeting with them. No. And they like, they... You know, they ask you what you're up to. And I was like, oh, what, what do you guys have coming down the pipeline? And then they're like, we're doing a ridiculous spinoff, but for cooking, we're doing it for pets. And it was all of them ended with Ness. So it'd be like tastiness, <sighs> hot Ness, 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 Nestle quick Ness. It was all just like, they're just like, this worked and we're going to run it. It's cheap to produce. And they're just, this is what people want to see. Rob Deirdre is bagged out. Yeah. I mean, the he's, amount of money he made just from TV is crazy. Dude, he is MTV. Yeah, are there? It's it's that and uh, Jersey Shore. Yeah. Like, is there anything else on that show? That's why when like the VMAs were happening a, a week ago, whatever, when and they got everybody to go. Yeah, Did I'm like, see, how? I saw a headline that the viewers of the actual VMAs was under a million. That makes total sense. But like, they had everybody there. The clips surrounding it, the red carpet, and that type of shit does way more impressions than the actual viewing of the show. Yeah, I mean, dude, but all of those shows are like that. that. Like, MTV, fa like Fallon. MTV's total thing, one million, less than a million. Yeah. That's weird. It's also, like, dude, Fallon I, does more views on his YouTube yeah. than he does on the actual yeah, yeah, yeah. show. And I'm sure the, the VMAs were the same thing. They were fucking blowing up TikTok. So they're getting their views on TikTok, but it's like, you can't put really just full on commercials on TikTok. I mean, you can, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just. Toyotathon. What? It's just eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. It's that transitional period. So they'll, they'll figure something out. But it was very weird to see the article that was like they had every big name in the world there. They had massive performers and performances. And then at the end of the day, they had less than a million people watching. I mean, bombing. Not good. But who watches TV? Who watches live TV if it's not sports? Does any like do y'all like there's not even a, when Game of Thrones is happening. I wouldn't even watch on Sunday. People have like Game of Thrones uh, watch parties, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. still wouldn't watch it live. So it's like, you don't watch the VMAs live? It's like, I'm going to watch the clips on TikTok. Why would I? Yeah, that's also true. It's like, I do that a lot with all these like influencer boxing. I don't watch, I don't pay for the fights. I'm just like, oh, or I'll just go on Twitter four minutes after the, yeah. the event. Oh, here's the knockout. Oh, cool. Great. And people are always yelling, I wasted my money on this. Yeah. You didn't think you were going to be able to see it anywhere else? They're not professional boxers. Oh, I love that comment. I wasted three hours. On, what else were you going to do? Play play hacky sack with your ankle monitor? What what else were you going to do? <laughs> Funny visual. Get it off! God damn. Look, I'll tell you what. What? We're all coming out with our summer bods. We're all looking hot. But you know what makes you look even hotter? Hot! Ha! Huh? Thorn! Change it to hot thorn because that's what you turn into a hot... Sexy, sharp looking beast of a rose, Hawthorne. Hawthorne is a premium men's grooming brand that makes it quick and easy to be confidentially your best with skincare and hair care made just for you. They use data, data, whatever you data. say, just Who don't knows? say caramel. 
from hundreds of thousands of customers to recommend the perfect products for your body chemistry, skin type, hair type, and lifestyle. I could do the drugstore stuff, but I'm Drugs. telling you, am I trusting that garbage stuff with this symmetrical face? No, absolutely not. I could uh, get overcharged at department stores, but what I'm really needing was a company I could trust to set me up with a grooming routine full of tailored products that was still affordable, and that is Hawthorne, okay, baby. So upgrade your body wash, upgrade your shampoo, upgrade your deodorant. De what deodorant? You guys know what I'm saying. Let them recommend a face cleanser and moisturizer that elevates your game. Basketball, and of course, find your perfect cologne. Smell good, and it's super easy. All you gotta do is you take a quiz, and a quiz is overselling it because it's 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 suggestions. It's like, hey, what do you, you go to bars at night? You get some. Cooler. <laughs> it's it just it wants to know who you are and then it'll send you i still use a cologne that they send me they send me a work and they play cologne and it's like tailored to your lifestyle you live so you feel like you're not out here just rocking you know some juicy couture type shit just to get some hose oh. but it makes you feel comfortable in your own skin and the packaging is fire look enough you can take the quiz. You can take a quiz for your boyfriend, your husband, your daddy. Which type of daddy am I talking about? I'll let you decide. Sugar. So make sure you are ready for anything or anyone that comes your way. Come by taking Hawthorne's quiz today. Go to Hawthorne.co, dot co, not M, dot co. Use promo code SOCKS to get 10% off your first purchase. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E. It's like horny without the Y or E. Well, you haven't oh, you cut it. <laughs> God damn. Uh, je m'appelle Michael Jehabit, Los Angeles, on don toi quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix, said, I know French. Ha, ha. Okay, when you're traveling to a destination, actually, ask me how I know French. How do you know French? Babble. 15 Whoa. minute lessons make it perfect way to learn a new language on the go. When you're traveling to a destination where you don't know the language, it can be challenging to accomplish even the simplest task. Okay, thankfully there's Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. Through Babbel's bite-sized lessons, you'll learn new language skills that you can actually use in the real world from greetings menus and directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture Babel is a travel <laughs> essential and it's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go other language learning apps use ai and for their lesson plans uh -huh. would be robots <laughs> No, Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Their teaching methods have been scientifically proven to be effective, right? Ooh, With Babbel, ooh. you can choose from 14 different languages like Spanish, French, Italian, German, horny. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. There's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free, okay? Free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com and use promo code SOCKS. That is B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code SOCKS. God damn. TT, do you love me? I'm at the BMAs. But do, 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 do. do you know the Met Gala is $30,000 to enter? Yeah. What do you mean to enter? You have everybody. This is what the lady told me. Everybody has to pay $30,000 to be there. So even like your Charlie D'Amelio's of the world, um, you got to pay $30,000 just to be there. And I guess it's personal invite or something. No. 30K to go to the Met Gala. What is the Met Gala? The Mets. You get to watch the New York Mets. In a gala. I love it. Galleria. Is gala just rich for gallery? What is Met? Met gala? What's a galleria? Were they post art? A pizzeria. With what's, a, what's a ria? Ghana. <laughs> what? Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. That's the worst type of ria. Have you ever had gonorrhea? No. You just take a pill, it goes out. Lickety split. You know, Done. pretty quick. I've, I've never had an STD. As you weird just got as punked. I... <laughs> you never have one? No. Well, have you? Touch my hand. All right. You have one. Oh, God. <laughs> um, hold on. Why the hell would you go to the gala? Also, 30K for these people is ketchup money. Right, but still. 
Huh? And also, uh, you've just seen what these people are wearing. They pay thirty thousand dollars to wear a goddamn oversized circus tent. <laughs> what are you wearing? How do you leave? And the stylist is like, "There you go." But that's like, what it is. It's like they almost want people to get talking. Yeah, they dump a recycling bin on their head, and they're like, yeah. there, there, <laughs> "There it is." Just rubber duckies glued to a shower curtain. <laughs> You're like, "This is Dior," and they're like, "Yeah, it's Dior." Awful. All right, what um, do we do? You guys want some sock talk? Let's do it. Sock talk. Do you love me? Are you riding TT? Um, all right, this is from Ethan, and Ethan says, I just thought that you guys should know that there's a Japanese word for post-nut clarity. Yes. And it's called Kenja Taimu. Kenja Taimu? Yep, is the is the what is there the a computer word. definition? Yeah, let's look it up. It Kenja is Kenja Taimu. That's so funny. Sounds to like say. Kenja Sunderland. Uh so it means the it translates to the the post orgasmic period when a man's thoughts are no longer impaired by his sexual drive. That's per- is there is there a, a funny way to think about it? That's really what it is. You're like, oh, you are getting, you're flushing the toilet of horniness. Yeah. But sometimes that toilet get clogged because you still horny. You ever came and still been horny? Yeah. It's like, oh, this didn't work. Get the plunger. I, I, you ever fuck a plunger? You ever been sucked off so hard by a <laughs> plunger? Because that is a goddamn blowjob. Hey, come on now. Huh? Holy hell. Uh, yeah, wow. What's the what's the word again? So it's Kenja Taimu and the Kenja, taimu. Kenja means sage, Taimu means time or period. So it's literally sage time. Like uh, you know, like sage, calm, peaceful. It is a peaceful. I wonder moment. if there was like a piece of art that was made just in the post not clarity time. Mm-hmm. I wonder like it was what made it out would of tissues be. and lotion. Just parental disappointment. There's got to be. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. It'd just be really relaxed. Maybe maybe we just found out that every, like, you know those, like, nice calm paintings of, like, uh, the ocean? Yeah. I think you can't paint those unless you're in the post not clarity age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And are there people that have longer periods of post not clarity? You know people who make spa music? That's yeah. like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is John Cena, the theme song. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. I think spa music is all post night clarity. People producing spa music, that's crazy. You got headphones on, but like, this, this shit hit. This. <laughs> yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. Do they have like, do they have like live iguanas in there and the iguanas have the headphones on and they go, fla, 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 hold fla, fla. on. I what? forgot about something. I saw this on TikTok. Somebody tagged me in it. TikTok. It was, um, it was TikTok. Is do TikTok, you love me? Is TikTok our CNN? TikTok is my Fox News. Yes. That's awesome. Um, where the fuck is it? God, you're it's thing- in your phone. <sighs> but I just want to say how funny if they got the live animals, that's very funny. And the parrots are like, oh. ah, and the producer's like, come on, Dimitri. More emotion. <laughs> ah, ah. There you go. You nailed it. Get the hell out of here. Um, where is it? Here it is. There's an iguana. Yep. And he's straight up piping one hand on the ledge. Who's he piping? Another lizard. Where? Oh, that's how Superman fucks. Got any Gex? I got one two. hand on the ledge, piping. I love that. I don't have enough upper body strength to do that. I don't have enough upper body strength to do missionary. God damn. damn. Your arms ever shake during missionary and you go, God damn, is there another earthquake? I gotta go check. And then you run outside and you hit the bow flex. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. If your hands are shaking like that, isn't it better for her? Because you're giving her a pipe and a shake. What type of shake? Shake, shake. Vanilla shake. Come. Come. Hmm. What was the question? Kenja Taimu. Yes. I love it. Kenja, Kenja Taimu. Yeah, it's nice. Um, all right, guys. Let's do a secret talk. Let's do it. This is an anonymous mission that says, when I was younger, I jacked off in a small cemetery near my house in the cold. Oh, no. Jesus. That's how you resurrect the goddamn ghost. (laughs) Resurrect or erect. (laughs) Dude. Uh, um, Honestly, I feel like this was just you writing this in. It's a little hot to me. A small a small (laughs) cemetery is hilarious. No, those are always like ancient ones where people like died in like the 1700s. Yeah, th- those ones the are the lifespan little, was like nine years. You're like, those oh, ones God, are, this was an adult. Those are the saddest ones. Right. I, when, when you see those little shoes, like the oh, little no, cobbler shoes. Oh, my yeah. God. Little pieces are Reese's pieces. Those aren't going to last. You pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> You're just eating pebbles. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, dude, I went to a small um, one, uh, cemetery in Ireland. Why? <sighs> my mom wanted. My mom is obsessed with like finding the history of our people or whatever. Mm. 
Ancestor.com. Yeah, but she's like, she wants to get more involved than just like seeing it on paper. Anyways, but we were there and it's like, it was a smaller one. Those are the, those are really scary. Like if, you have, if you have like a big one, you're like, all right, well, no ghost well, when here. This, when the tombstone is like very like precision, like, like just yeah. a perfect tomb, tomb, tombstone. Got it. Tombstone. Tombstone used to am be I, a pizza company. Am I dumb? Dumb? <laughs> Yeah, but when they're like chiseled and then like they're they're all like kind of like broken down. There's like the line going through it. You're like, whoa. Yeah, and like it fell over. Yeah. If a tombstone falls over, that's how the ghosts escape. Really? Do you think he jerked himself off in that tombstone or or the cemetery, or you think he got jerked off by a ghost? You ever been so horny you get jerked off by a ghost? Bro, I'll tell you what. Boo, huh. fucking who? Somebody come jerk me off. Is, is that it? what a wet dream is? No, that's God jerking you off. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's very weird. It's weird to be and in a cemetery and be like, God, what am I doing here? Then also being like, oh, no, penis. I'm caught in the cemetery. <laughs> He's like, please don't. <laughs> it's the worst idea ever, Step bro. Get out of here. And he said it was cold. Wait yeah. till August. <laughs> or morning. True. Morning. Wood. Wood. Yeah, that's very, uh, this is almost disrespectful because you're not even supposed to walk over people's graves. Imagine coming on something. If it's you come up. on someone's grave and you just hear, instead of boo, you hear, uh, <laughs> then you know that ghost was a whore. A little free. A little free ghost. Golly. God damn. <laughs> imagine, have, imagine having a kid that's a half ghost. How do you? You come in a cemetery, you you mistaken, you fucking get right into a goddamn uh, ghost vagina. Then all of a sudden she gets pregnant. Then you have a half ghost, half human. Yeah, I see zero flaws with this. There's a, the logic is seamless. I can see it. Hamburger. <laughs> Your son's just floating down the halls. Dad, what time is soccer practice? Uh, four. Well, all right. Uh, oh. Whatever you want. You control the city. If you moved into a place that had it was haunted and you knew for sure, wouldn't you leave? All these dumbass people that are like, "Oh, there's a yeah. ghost in my house." I'm gonna stay. It depends. Uh, dude, remember that girl that uh, she's like ghost girl. Yeah, yeah. She, she told me about a ghost the entire time, and then she's like, "Do you want to come in?" No, I do not want to come in. She made me come in. Made out with her. Definitely ghost in there. Yeah. And then she lives in there. Just willy nilly. Ghost to sleep. Ghosts. I, I think some people lean into it. Move. Yeah. Move. I don't have enough money. Get a credit card <laughs> and move. Go to chase.com. Apply. Promo code talks. Promo code. Maybe. That would be. <laughs> Find your sponsor. <laughs> Hook it up. Um. <clears throat> yeah. But yes, I think I think it was like part of her personality. She's like, ooh, I have ghosts in here. And you have two cats. Kill them both. More ghosts. Ghost cats? Me out. <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark. Um, um, all right, well. There it is. There it is, guys. 140? 140. I was looking at the podcast numbers today. I was like, 139? Crazy. It's a lot. So many. <laughs> Plus 102 on Patreon. Oh my God. Great time for a plug. Guys, we have a Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com backslash Sip Socks Pod. Four extra episodes a month. Only $5. $5. $5. This every Friday. No ads. No ads. I mean, $5. Dude. I spend more on that uh, on lube. Yeah. So Once a week, Michael swings his dick around. I just swing it around. Yeah. Not here, but just it, generally he does that at home. But maybe on Patreon. We'll get him to do it one day. I haven't jerked off in a while. Well, Cut it. All right, I got you. Oh, no, I was going in for the Oh, you're going to jerk me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabe, close your eyes. What if you fell in love with a ghost? Yeah, I think it happened How could you pipe? <laughs> My strange addiction. I'm yeah, you just throw it in midair. I saw a, a, what's it called? A talk show, daytime talk show, where this woman was literally like, I'm in love with a ghost. And yeah, she's going to marry a ghost. Clickbait. You think it's real? You think people are just doing it for views? They're insane. Yeah. They're literally clinically insane. And in, instead of shooting up an aquarium, they go, I'm going to marry a ghost, which fine. Marry a ghost. Yeah. I'm going to marry a porpoise. You're a freaking weirdo. <laughs> okay. What's the most inanimate object you would marry? Like, are we being serious? Right now. An air fryer. You, <laughs> an air fryer got a goddamn thumper. A wagon, yeah. A wagon. You ever, you know, when you turn the air fryer off after been after it's been on, you give it like five minutes, it's a little yeah. warm in the back. You're like, oh shit, Denise. God damn, that ain't the only eggplant that's gonna be cooked. <laughs> oh no, you can make a grilled cheese in there. Just thought somebody up. walks in on you trying to bang an air fryer, Michael. <laughs> uh, I was just scrubbing the hard to clean places. 
I think realistically, I'd just go flashlight. Well, He's that's fucking boring. Uh, yeah. Fine. All right. I'll switch it up right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do one of those uh, science projects you used to have as a kid that had like the water and the glitter in it, little toys, this little tube that you could possibly also have sex with. Let me ask you this. Uh -huh. so, Did I ever put my penis with it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I'd like, like to propose you a question right before we sign off. Someone gave you $4 billion, but yeah. you only could have sex with a flesh out the rest of your life. Can I get sucked off? No. The only way that you're allowed to see UM is with your Whoa. H A N D or flashlight. That is it. Four billion. Four yeah, billion. Yeah, I'd probably do it because you'd you'd figure out a way. No. No, 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 no. no. You, I would trip and fall in a lot of pussy. I'd no, <laughs> no humans. Oh no, step bro, I'm caught in the suck off machine again. Had I ever said that? Oh no, step bro, I fell in your vagina. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Oh no, that's been an bro. excuse. That's been an excuse. Did you cheat on me, Samantha? I no, I tripped and fell on his cock. Yeah. The Great aim. precision. You ever been going too quick and the D hole slips out and then he misses the bullseye? Uh huh. Dude, I had a guy break his. I had a friend that break, broke his cockola. Wow. Yeah, look like an Allen wrench. Break your dick. Yeah. Lowercase L. What are you doing? I, I would, I would go on Venice Beach real quick. Shit, got him in my car. That, that, that's fucking, perfect. That sounds scares the shit well, out of me listen, every single oh, time. Oh, me too. Because that means I have to wake up, kill myself. Um, all right, Travis got to move his car. I will sign off, guys. Thank you so much for being part of this community. C U M community. Uh, we love you so much. Uh, where do the Patreon plugs? What I need to do it. Listen, uh, guys. As I always say. I know, influencer, blah, blah, blah. But please go on iTunes and uh, Spotify, rate, subscribe, and review. It really helps us out. Makes us, uh, other people will be able to see our podcast that don't listen and watch already. But we love you guys. Till next time. Bougie Bantan. Babble. See us live.